everyone and welcome to Creatively Claire. Today I'm going to be making a video on Bible journaling. I actually haven't made one on Bible journaling yet, so I decided to give it a shot. You guys can just watch for fun or you can get out your pens and pencils and follow along. Let's get started. So today I will be lettering John 8:32, And you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. So since that's kind of a longer verse to letter, I decided just to do the truth will set you free. So, whenever I do Bible journaling, lettering, um, the first thing I do is I sketch out my design on a separate page so that I don't mess up my margin by writing and erasing and everything. So, I'll show you that process. So the first thing I do is I write it out up here and then I put a box around each word so that I know the average size it's going to take up compared like the ratio of each word to the other words so that I can try to fit them together like a puzzle so that there isn't blank space like this. That's blank space that I just circled. I think that's not a very good composition because it has blank space. And like this one, you know, I ended up with this blank space, which it'll still work if I like filled it in with some like designs or something. But it's always good to try to get your letters to fit together like a puzzle. So I tried, you know, three different versions until I kind of started hitting on some that I liked. And so then I just ended up with this version that I like the best. And I'm obviously going to change it up a little bit when I transfer it to my Bible, but I have the basic composition of the words down and an idea for some designs around the outside. So let's move on to putting it in my Bible. So for this lettering project, I'm going to be using my Tombow dual brush pens. And before I move to the page, I think I'm going to pick out what pens I'm going to use for this because now that I have the composition, I kind of need to figure out what pens I'm going to use and what colors. So I will do that and then we'll get started on the page. got my colors picked out and the composition all mapped out, I'll start putting it on the page. So I'm going to use this as my reference and we're going to move down here and start working. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to map out my design by counting, as you can see there are some lines here. Because it's a journaling bible and you can use it for writing, but I also like to use it for lettering. So I'm just going to um, count down however many lines I want it to be and just use those as a guide to sketch out my design. So now that I've got that sketched out, I'm going to start using my brush pens and adding color. You don't have to follow your guidelines exactly if you find some things that you'd like to touch up a little as you go. So let me check that real quick because this is under uh, um, under the brush pen. So, so as you can see, it will erase even if you write on top of pencil. It will not stay underneath. So.
now that I've got my basic design on paper, I'm going to go ahead and erase my guidelines carefully, making sure I hold the page so that it doesn't wrinkle. So now I'm going to work on the design. As you can see, once I put it on the page, I realized that my previous design won't work because I would have to write on my word on top of the words and of the Bible, and I really don't like to do that. I know some people do, but so I think I'm going to squeeze the scripture reference down at the bottom here. Maybe in green. I'm going to use the brush, not the brush, the marker end. Now I'm going to kind of sketch out some design ideas here. I'm still incorporating a lot of the original design just in a different place. Okay, so now I'm going to pick my colors. I think I'm going to go ahead and go with the red and green scheme still, or orange and olive or whatever. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and give it a try. Maybe I'll give a little bit of sh um, shape to this by making it zigzagged here. And this doesn't have to be perfect because it's hand drawn. It's not supposed to look manufactured. I think I'm liking that, but I might thicken it. Maybe I'll use the brush and thicken it here. I feel like this is too much negative space still, so I'm going to try to think what I should add. Maybe I'll go for some circles. down here and I'll go ahead and start with green It's okay if they're not perfect. Is it just me or do those look like little avocados? <laughs> so now I'm going to erase my guidelines. It's 
lot of fun to just go with what you come up with, like just kind of figure things out as you go along. Because as you can see, I didn't exactly follow my original design. And I actually think I like this one better. So, you can kind of improvise as you go along. It's just good to kind of know how the words at least are gonna fit together. And so, that brings me to the end of this lettering. And I am just going to put a date on it and we'll be good. You can make your date a little bit smaller. That's a little bit big, but I like to know when I did them so that I can see how I've progressed. And here's my completed Bible journaling piece. Well, everyone, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any suggestions for a future video, please put that in the comments below. Also, if you have any Bible passages that you would like me to letter in a future video, let me know. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.